then your house shall the last days, right? We are the messengers and the ambassadors of the Heavenly Father and the Heavenly Son. So this is what uh, the vision that John gave his people in the last days. Watch this. The book of Revelations, one and one. Uh -huh. The revelations of Jesus Christ. You know what revelation means? All right, so revelation means to reveal, right? So we're going to reveal through the Spirit what Jesus Christ looked like in the Bible. Watch this. The revelations of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. which God gave unto him, uh -huh. to shew unto his uh -huh. servants things which must surely come to pass. So he's going to show unto his servants. If you are a servant, then you can identify and acknowledge this right here, right? You servants of uh, Jesus Christ? Okay, watch this. Verse, verse 13. Uh -huh. In the midst of the Let me second. get verse 3. Found. Verse 3, blessed is he that readeth. So he said, blessed is he that readeth, right? So it's important, if you're a servant, then you will read this book and take everything as it's written, right? Go ahead, now go to the point. Come. Verse, verse 13, uh -huh. and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, uh -huh. one like unto the Son of Man. So the seven candlesticks represents the menorah, right? Which represents the seven churches, go ahead. Clothed with a garment, down to the foot. So he had on like a garment, right? Sometimes we come out with garments down to the foot, right? Go ahead. And girt about the patch. So he had a girdle on his on his patch, right? Go ahead. With a golden girdle. Uh-huh. His head and his hair were white like wool. So he had woolly hair, right? What people on the earth have woolly textured hair? Because you, you gave a, a, an important description. You said he would be brown and he would have black hair, right? Yeah. So what people on the earth would have black woolly hair? Black people. Black people, right? Except he was white as snow, right? So that means that he had a glorious appearance about himself, right? Go ahead. His head and his hair were white like wool, uh -huh. as white as snow. Go ahead. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Why does it say that Jesus had eyes as the flame of fire? Do you know? I know. Okay, do you know he drunk wine? Mm -hmm. What was his first miracle? Turning water into wine. Turning water into wine, right? They called him a wine bibble, right? Go ahead. And his feet like unto fine brass, uh -huh. as if they were burned in a furnace. So he was so dark, it looked like he was burned in a furnace, right? So that would mean that Jesus Christ in the Bible, who was a Jew, he come from the tribe of Judah, right? The fourth born son of Jacob would be a so-called melanated brother. He would look like our brother right here. He's actually from the tribe of Judah right here, right? You see that? So it was saying that he would be a melanated person like us right here. So when you look at what happened to us in America, right? Would you say our people were treated wrong here? Oh, yeah. We were, right? Yeah. Were we hung on trees? Yeah. Was Jesus hung on a tree? He was, right? So that would make us direct descendants of Jesus Christ, right? So I, you can receive that testimony? Yeah. You can? So with knowing that, right, that we're the true biblical Jews, right? Do you know what the Bible says about the Jews and what our position of power is in the earth in the last days? Do you know? Our power is, is that we're going to rule all nations in the earth. Do you know that? And that all nations are going to have to bow down to the children of Israel for the crimes that has happened to us throughout the earth, right? Like slavery, like oppression. What'd you say? Yeah, like oppression. What do you say we got? Isaiah, Isaiah 14? Get away. Why? Book of Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. Uh -huh. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. So this is going back to the 12 tribes of Israel. He said the, the Lord is going to have mercy on Jacob. Watch this. Go ahead. And will yet choose Israel. So he's going to choose Israel again because we fell away from the laws and the commandments. That's why we went into slavery, right? Go ahead. And set them in their own land. So we're going back to our own land that was taken from us. Go ahead. And the strangers. And who? And the strangers. So y'all will be like strangers on that day, right? Go ahead. Shall be joined with them. Go ahead. And they shall cleave into the house of Jacob. So you're going to begin to cling to the house of Jacob because we have the true testimony of the Lord in the last days. Go ahead. And the people shall take them. And they're going to do what? And the people shall take them. Now, does that sound like he's saying that, that the people are going to ask or to come with them or are they going to take them? What does it mean to take somebody? Take them. <laughs> take them? You become, a, you, become cap, you become captive, right? Like a slave, so to say, right? Go ahead. And bring them to their place. So we're going to bring them to their place. Go ahead. And the house of Israel. And the house of who? And the house of Israel. So he said the house of Israel, right? Go ahead. Shall possess them. Shall do what? Shall possess them. When you possess somebody, what does that mean? You own them, right? Go ahead. In the land of the Lord. Uh-huh. For servants. For servants. And handmaids. And handmaids. And they shall take them captive. Uh-huh. Whose captives they were. Well, who, who would you say that we were slaves to? As, as black people in America and all over the earth. White people, yeah. predominantly white people, right? So the Lord said because of those crimes that we would have to take those people that put us in slavery, right? right? And they shall rule over their oppressors. Uh -huh. 
and it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord uh -huh. shall give them rest from their sorrow. See, we're going to have rest from our sorrows because we have not been at rest, right? Since we've been here. Let me get um, Malachi 2 to you. Right? We have not been at rest here. That's why we got to come out here and preach the gospel to all nations, right? So you've never heard this particular uh, scripture brought out that way, right? No, not this way. Not this way, right? But that's why, because only the servants of the Lord could break down the Bible in the last days. Right? I'm looking for Watch the Bible. Okay, go ahead, sister. Watch this. Book of Malachi, Malachi 2, chapter 2, verse 10. Uh -huh. Have we not all one... Uh, Micah 2, 10. So I do. Uh, Micah 2, 10. Book of Micah chapter 2 verse 10. Uh -huh. Arise ye uh -huh. and depart from this. He says, Arise ye, talking about the children of Israel, and do what? And depart. Uh -huh. For this is not your rest. This is not our rest. You see that? We're not at rest here, right? When we got to go out here and work for a, pre a people that are oppressing us, that have put us in slavery, that have raped our mothers, right? This is not our rest. You see that? So according to the Bible, with this biblical knowledge and knowing that right there, right, would y'all be willing to serve the children of Israel in the last days? I mean, Honestly. I'm wanting to Jesus. serve Jesus. So if that's Jesus' plan. That's, well, that's Jesus' plan. You see that? So then y'all will have to serve the children of Israel in the last days. Do you know how you're going to have to serve the children of Israel? I said 40 Do you, do you know that? The king shall be thy nurse and father. No. Right? This is this is like we break this down, you know what I mean, so that so that you can get the biblical sense, right? Now this is how the this is how other nations are gonna serve the children of Israel. Watch this. Was it forty three? Uh, it's forty three twenty nine. Our king shall be thy nurse. Forty nine twenty three. The book of Isaiah chapter 49 verse 23 uh -huh. and kings shall be their nursing fathers so there was a people that was over us that would be kings right like when you look at Joe Biden he would be a king right now right as a president right so go ahead and kings shall be thy nursing fathers uh -huh. and their queens thy nursing mothers go ahead. and they shall bow down to thee so the other nations on on uh, on the earth once you realize that you're not an Israelite once you realize you're not a Jew right when you realize that we're the true Jews and the true Israelites of the Bible, it says that nations will have to bow down to the true men of God in the last days in order to receive their uh, way to the tree that you can eat from, right? Because all nations, you can't eat from the fruit. We're the only ones that are, that are going to be able to gain immortality. But we have the ability to sustain your life so that you can serve who you say Jesus Christ is, right? So it says, kings shall be that nursing fathers, right? And their queens thy nurse and mothers, and they shall do what? And they shall bow down to thee. So the Lord is telling y'all through the spirit that y'all will have to bow down to the children of Israel, right? So do y'all believe that testimony? I believe the word of God. Please. You believe that word? So you would have to bow down. That's what the Lord said. Are you prepared to do that? So would you show that? Right now? Yeah. That's what the Lord said. These are not our words. And they right? shall bow down to thee. And they shall what? And they shall bow down to thee. So knowing that, right? Because your father would be, right? We're, we come from Jacob. So you ever heard of uh, Jacob and Esau? Okay, so what is Esau's description in the Bible? Do you know? He, he has like some certain like skin disease, I think. He had a skin disease. Now that's that's crazy that's right there that you would say that. He had a skin disease, right? So when you go into that, right? Like this beautiful sunlight right here, right? It's beautiful, right? Can y'all absorb? That sun was 120 degrees. Could you step out there and stay out in that sun all day without putting anything on your skin? Why, why is that? You're going to get burned. Why do you think? So why would God, you say God created everybody equal? Did God create everybody equal? Yeah. You think so? So then why would you why would you get skin cancer from the sun that he created? Um, I think that there are sin like consequences of sin that come from the nation that he built. Right, that's good. So when you go when you go into that malignant root from Adam and Eve, right? Mm -hmm. He produced different seed in the earth, right? Yeah. A chosen line and a non-chosen line, right? Mm -hmm. So he gave his biblical uh, power to one specific people. He gave his image to one specific people, which would be his 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 descendants, which would be able to stand under that sun that gives us power, right? So the sun gives a specific people power, and it diminishes 
that power from a certain people. So like you said, you would get cancer from the sun, right? I don't get cancer from the sun. I get strength from the sun. You see that? So Deuteronomy 7 and 6 real quick. Hold that. Right? Watch this. Because you said that God created everybody to be equal, right? So let's watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Mm -hmm. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. So God said that we're a holy people, a separate people, right? Do you got like a, a favorite pair of shoes? No? That's your favorite bag right there? Like this is my bag right here. I love this bag. I can carry all my books here. I can pull them out, read my Bible for people, right? So I like this bag. I like carrying this. Is, I set this up. I put this apart from every other bag so I can grab it quickly, right? So go ahead. He said this is a, a set apart people. So that's what the Lord did. He set us apart. He pulled us away from all nations. Go ahead. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people. So he chose us to be a special people, right? That's why we kind of like, when we go out in the sun, we kind of run faster. We gain more strength. When you look at us on the basketball court, right? Nobody dribble the ball quite like we do. Nobody sing on the microphone quite like we do, right? Go ahead. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people. Uh -huh. Unto himself. Go ahead. Above all people. Now we equal. Above all people. See what the Bible says? The Bible says that we're above all people. That are what? Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That are upon the face of the earth. You see that? So God is not about equality. He's never been about equality. You see that? Because he would have created everybody to be the same. When he when he elevates this sun one day, he would have created all people to walk in this sun the same way. But all people can't. So that puts a difference right there. Let me get Romans 3 and 1. Right? Because now we got to understand that um, according to the Bible, that a certain people in the earth have an advantage over a different people, right? Like he said, you're, you're my special people. I put you away in a closet to be separate from everything else, right? Watch this. Book of Romans chapter three, verse one. Uh -huh. What advantage then after Jew? It says, what advantage then? What's an advantage? One of them. A one up, right? Yeah, like you're a superior, right? It says, so what, what, what one up? Is what? What advantage did have the Jew? So what one up does the Jew have, right? What do you say? What advantage did have the Jew? Uh -huh. Or what profit is there of circumcision? Go ahead. Much every way. It says much every way because of this. This is the reason. Go ahead. Chiefly because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. So he said mainly unto them was committed the oracles of God so that we could break down this word. So that we could tell the people what they're doing right from wrong. You see that? So we could put all nation back in order under this power. This is the book of power right here. This book is going to give us our strength back in the last days, right? To command souls to listen to it, right? And to be obedient under this book, right? If you say you believe in this book, you got no choice but to identify with everything that is written therein, right? Go ahead. Romans chapter 9 verse 4. Uh-huh. Who are Israelites? Who are who? Who are Israelites? Go ahead. To whom pertaineth the adoption? It says, so to who are Israelites, to who pertain the adoption? So the, the adoption only belongs to Israelites, right? Go ahead. And the glory. And the glory, right? The kingdom of God. Go ahead. And the covenant. And the covenants, the old and the new that they say, right? They only pertain to the children of Israel. So you said the Gentiles could be drafted in. The Gentiles are the children of Israel, right? That were carried away unto dumb idols. We can break that down for you. Go ahead. And the giving of the law. And the giving of the law, because the law was only given to the children of Israel. Go ahead. And the service of God. And the service of God, which we are the Israelites, we are the Levites of the Most High. So we was commanded to go into temples and to do all of the sacrifices for the children of Israel to cleanse them in the last days, right? Go ahead. And the promises. And the promises are only to the children of Israel, right? So with knowing that right now, right? Because I know you never heard this. You never heard that God is a so-called black man, right? Well, just, I knew he wasn't white. <laughs> you knew he wasn't white. You see that? It's good that you knew that, though, right? Because the whole earth has been deceived. You see that? When you look at that image that they gave us, right? Cesar Borgia, right? That was that was uh, uh, and that that the Pope set up, right? That he could be painted. That that his son would have the image of a god, right? Of a king. That's what the Pope set up. You see that? So if you understand that, that, that false, that was a false image. You got your, your precept? I got two precepts. Go ahead. Now, but the first one is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 16, verse 19. Uh -huh. Oh, Lord, my strength uh -huh. and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction. Go ahead. The Gentiles. The who? The Gentiles. So y'all would be Gentiles outside of what that covenant agreement would be for, right? Y'all are the strangers in this, in this verse right here. Go ahead. The Gentiles 
shall come unto thee uh -huh. from the ends of the earth. So many are, they're gonna come from all over, right? Go ahead. And shall say, uh -huh. surely our fathers have what? Have inherited lies. Have inherited lies, right? And what? Vanity uh -huh. and things wherein there is no profit. And things wherein there is no profit, right? So when you when you when you conquered this land, right? The, the average European, right? Because there's no, y'all are really not European. You be Caucasians, right? Y'all come from Caucasia, right? So this is not y'all land. You understand that? This is a stolen land, right? Because there was a people here before y'all. But you would say in this earth, in this land right now, that the founding forefathers have established this land that was set up for your people. So your people are in a ruling class right now, right? Job 9.24 says that the earth is given to the, earth, to the, uh, to the wicked, and right? So what's your other precept? The other precept is Luke 19 and 27. Uh -huh. Red letter, right? So that's Christ. It says, but those mine enemies, uh -huh. which would not that I should reign over them. See, because Christ is coming back to reign over the earth, right? And he's going to put all people under him, right? He's going to put his own people under him. And he's going to put those other nations under his people, right? Go ahead. It says, bring hither. He says, we got to bring them hither. If you don't want to serve the children of Israel, we're going to bring you to the Hamashiach, whose true name is Yahawashai. Go ahead. And slay them. And do what? And slay them now, before you wanna, me. You want to be slayed before the Messiah, who you claim in the earth to be Jesus Christ? His true biblical name is Yahawashai. Would you want to be slain? Would you want this brother right here on that day to, to bring you? before Jesus Christ and, and he said you know what my servants was giving you the testimony and you didn't want to hear it you're gonna you're gonna kneel on that day and he's gonna off with your head that's what that says right? right you see that I didn't I didn't write that but that's what it says and this is why the pastors don't want to read these scriptures you see that they don't want the truth to come out because they don't want God's chosen people to rise up that's why they give us drugs that's why they give us poor music to listen to. That's why they put us in the ghettos and the communities that we have to survive in, right? We got gang on, we got gang, black on black crime, right? We got drugs in our communities. We whore out our women. Y'all nations don't do that, right? Not, not as a majority, you see no, what I'm saying, right? No. But why, why our community set up like that? Why do they put these diseases on our community? Because they know we're the natural gods of the earth. We were, we were created to be gods on the planet, right? Right? Another one. Jeremiah 23 and 1. Beautiful. Woe be unto the pastors. Woe be unto the pastors because many of our people are following blind leadership, right? Go ahead. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture. You see that? They scatter the sheep of the Lord's pasture by giving them false doctrine, false hope, right? We got to give our money to the damn pastor that's lying to us, right? And, that, and, and, and that's why we got to come out with the truth. You see that? The truth is only to the children of Israel, right? So either way, rather if y'all bow down today or uh, later on, right? You should bow down now because on that day, like you brought out in that precept, you got a true image. I see you, you holding that. You, you, yeah, go ahead. See that? That's one of the oldest depictions of Jesus Christ, right? You see that? You see what I? You see what I? You see what I said? You see what museum this is in? In Cairo, Egypt, right? You see that? So, so this is this is why we come out here with this, so we can show the truth to the earth, because we've been giving lies throughout the four corners of the earth. You see that? Here's one more. The Book of Amos, chapter three, and verse one. Okay, so the it says, "Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you." children of Israel Go ahead. against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt saying Go ahead. you only he said what you only uh -huh. have I known of all the families of the earth so the most high only knows us of all the families of the earth right go ahead therefore I will punish you so what is slavery I will punish you what is diseases I will punish you what is being incarcerated I will punish you so that's why we go through the things that we go through in the earth right because he's punishing us go ahead for all your iniquity because we the only ones that have bro have broken God's law statutes and commandments that's why we commit iniquity in the earth go ahead can two walk together except they be agreed see we agree because we have the law statutes and commandments in the last days right that's why we walk together you see that right there how do y'all feel about what y'all heard today though Besides all of that, right? Even if you don't bow down today, right? How do you feel about the testimony 
of what you received than the truth. I, I mean, all of that is the word of God, so I'm not detesting any of it. I do think that there are points like um, where all the like, it's like your heart is the circumcised portion of your body and not no longer the Old Testament version of like circumcision when you're into the Israelite family. Um, that's why the, the curtain was broken. And so to, to be in the Israelites family, you had to be circumcised by heart. And to me, that is like how you are to enter the family of Jesus. And so I, I don't have all of the sophisticated words like you guys do, but, um, I want to believe that we're all brothers and sisters of Christ, um, and that he has a plan for all of us. To so, enter so heaven with him. What scripture would say that we all have a plan under Jesus Christ? If you could think of one scripture. Titus 3. Oh, that's beautiful. I love Titus the third chapter. What, what's, what's verse? Verse 4 through 7. All right, let's get that for us. Titus 3? Uh, yeah. Verse what? Uh, 3, verse 4 through 7. 3, 4 through hey, 7. Check out that verse 4, that special word of who Savior is. Book okay, of Titus. Ahead, bring it out in a minute. Book of Titus, chapter 3, verse 4. Uh -huh. But after that, the kindness and love of God, our uh -huh. Savior, towards man appears. So you want to go into that word? Say it again. You said you want to go into that word Savior right there? No, it just says our Savior, right? Uh -huh. So now if you go back to red letter again Christ's words it says Matthew 15 24 it says but he answered and said uh -huh. I am not sent but unto who but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel so Titus is not going against what what he just read in Matthew is he right, right so go ahead verse 5 uh -huh. not by works of righteousness not by works of righteousness what is the works of righteousness Next. So it's, do you know what righteousness mercy. in the Bible? Higher than. Or Let me get Deuteronomy six twenty five. The book of Deuteronomy chapter six verse twenty five. Huh? And it shall be our righteousness. So it says it shall be our righteousness to do what? It shall be our righteousness. Come here, the word of the Lord. Right. If we observe to do all these commandments So it's our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments Are y'all observers of the commandments? How so? Observers of the word of God Yeah, but are you doing the commandments? I try to You try to? Yeah. But why? It wasn't given to you uh, The word of God was given to me It wasn't How so? Because the word of God was only given to the children of Israel But I am the child of Israel You're not a child of Israel you want to know why? Because you would have to be a blood-born descendant of Israel. Are you saying we're not a child of God, though? What is, what is okay, the Okay, so let's go back to Romans 9 again. Let's listen to Romans 9. Start at 1. Romans 9 and 1. Because everybody, right, we, we try to go to the New Testament to uh, think that Paul was putting a difference, right? So we're going to show you through the Spirit that there's a difference between uh, who are all the children of God and who are not, right? So there's a difference between, like, y'all y'all be Abraham, y'all come from Abraham? You think y'all come, y'all, everybody, all nations come from Abraham, right? Okay, so would you come, would you come from Isaac? Yes. You see that? What about Jacob? I'm not sure where it splits off, actually. So we going to watch this. Romans, Romans 9 and 1. Romans 9 and 1. Uh -huh. I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. So we're not going to lie with what we're saying out here on these corners, right? Go ahead. My conscience also bear, bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost. In the Holy Spirit, meaning we have the testimonies that was written from ancient times on to the present day, right? That's why you can't make us liars out here. Go ahead. That I have great heaviness uh -huh. and continual sorrow in my heart. For everybody. And continual sorrow in my heart. Uh-huh. For I could, I could wish that myself were cursed from, uh -huh. from Christ uh -huh. for my brethren. For who? For my brethren. Nah, it's for everybody. For my brethren. For my brethren. Who's Paul's brethren? Good question. What nation does Paul come from? Israelites. Israelites, right? Watch this. Go ahead. Romans 11 and 1. Come. I say then, uh -huh. hath God cast away his people? So God hasn't cast away his people, right? Which he foreknew, right? Go ahead. 
God forbid, uh -huh. for I also am an Israelite of what tribe? Of the seed of Abraham, uh -huh. of the tribe of Benjamin. Of the tribe of Benjamin. You see that? So Paul's testimony was only to the children of Israel because he's from the tribe of Benjamin, right? So that's why he's saying the truth in Christ. Go ahead. My kinsmen. My kinsmen. So he's saying this is for my brethren. My kinsmen. So his kinsmen would be Judah, right? Levi, right? Naphtali, right? Uh, Gag, right? Manasseh, right? Those are those those are Paul's people. That's his kinsmen, right? Go ahead. My kinsmen, uh -huh. according to the flesh. According to the flesh. You see that? So this is according to the flesh. We getting we getting personal, right? Go ahead. Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? Not everybody. So he's only talking about Israelites here, right? Go ahead. To whom pertain of the adoption. So now we just read this to you, right? So he says, now to whom pertain of the adoption, right? Go ahead. And the glory. And the glory. And the covenant. Uh-huh. And the giving of the law. And the giving of the law was only to the children of Israel, right? So I'm, that's why I was just asking you before. Only the word was given to the children of Israel. Go ahead. And the service of God. And the service of God. Go ahead. And the promises. And the promises. Go ahead. Whose are the fathers uh -huh. and of whom are concerning the flesh Christ came. That's why he read Matthew 15 and 24, because the only reason Christ came was for the children of Israel. Go ahead. Who was over all. Uh -huh. God blessed forever. Amen. So who was over all. God's, God blessed forever. Amen. Right. So be it. Go ahead. Not as though the word of God have taken none effect. Go ahead. For they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. It says they are not all Israel who are of Israel. Why? Because they wouldn't be keeping the law, statutes and commandments. That's why we got to compel our brothers to come back in. Right? So go ahead. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham. So this is getting personal, right? So it's neither because they are the seed of Abraham, right? Go ahead. Are they all children? Are they all children, right? Because that's what you said. I'm a child of God. So he's saying, neither because you're the seed of Abraham are you a child of God, right? Go ahead. But in Isaac. But what? But in Isaac. So he's saying now he's giving a bloodline dissension, right? He's saying, but in Isaac shall what? Shall thy seed be called. Jacob, the 12 tribes of Israel. He said, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Go ahead. That is... They which are the children of the flesh. They that are the children of the flesh, right? Because you spoke of circumcision and all that other stuff too, right? But go ahead. These are not the children of God. These are not the children of God because you would be not a children of God according to the flesh because you don't come from the direct descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's the only way that you be a child of God, right? You see that? Through the flesh, right? Let me get Exodus 4.22, right? This is how we are the sons of God, right? Go ahead. We got another precept. Uh, it's Second Ezra six and fifty four. Uh -huh. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. We all come from Adam. Would you say that right? Watch this. Go ahead. Of him come we all. We all come from Adam, right? Go ahead. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. Who did he choose? Who did God choose? The Israelites. The Israelites. Watch this. Go ahead. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, uh -huh. because thou madest the world for our sakes. See, he made the whole world for the Israelites' sake. You see that? Go ahead. As for the other people. So now he's talking about the other people, which come from who? Which also come of Adam. Which also come of Adam. This would be all now. Go ahead. Thou hast said that they are nothing. No, no, that's not in the Bible. What did the Lord say about the other people? That they are nothing. So he created the other people to be under the sun, to be burned by the sun. And he said that they are what? They are nothing. But be but, like what? But be like unto spittle. But be like unto spittle, right? Go ahead. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So you got a big cup right there in your hand, right? With a lot of juice in there. So if you was to spill a, a drop out of that, would you would you be upset if you spilled the drop out of that cup right now? You wouldn't be upset. Why? Because you got plenty more juice there, right? So that's the Lord said, out of that cup right there, he likened you to a drop by that whole cup. Go ahead. And now, O oh Lord, uh -huh. behold, these heathens. So now he's talking about the other nations. God would be heathens in the Bible outside of the children of Israel. Go ahead. Which have ever been reputed as nothing. So he said the heathens have a reputation of being nothing. Go ahead. Have begun to be lords over us. Job 9 and 24. That's how y'all rule the earth right now. That's how Joe Biden is in power and leadership right now. They have become lords over us. We're the true descendants of Jesus Christ. We were made in a likeness in the image of the creator. That's why we can stand and be blessed by the sun. Go ahead. And to devour us. And to devour us. That's why we are considered to be nothing. Right? That's why John 3.16 is only written for us. You see that? We're the only ones that can come under John 3.16. 
See that? He made the world for our sake. So when you read John 3.16, that word world there is talking about the children of Israel, not the whole earth. There's a difference between the word world and earth. Do you know that? Right? If you think about it, right? You got the sea world, right? You see that? So that's not talking about everything on the earth, right? So there's a clear difference. So when he's talking about, I, I came to the, to the children of Israel to give them life, that's only talking about us. No other nation could come in. When Jesus tells us to go and preach the gospel to the other nations. Why like did he say last that? chapter of Matthew. Yeah, why did he say that? Because he wants to spread the gospel. He wants to spread the love of Jesus to, so, so. to all nations. So do you know that the children? Disciples. So do you know the children of Israel were scattered through all, all nations, mm -hmm. through the four corners of the earth? Right. That's why that's there, because we have to go out. That's why. That's what we do. We go through the whole earth to teach the gospel. That's why we have to go out. That's the the same commandment that he gave yeah. the disciples. God, what's up? Go ahead. It's the book of Acts, chapter two, verse five. Uh huh. It says, and there was dwelling at Jerusalem Jews uh -huh. devout men. Out of every nation. Out of what? Out of every nation. See that? Heaven. So the Jews was in every nation. So that's why we gotta go through the four corners, through every nation, to preach the gospel to the children of Israel, to compel them to come in to keep the commandments and the laws of God. Now listen, the other nations are gonna come in also, but you can only come in under what we read in Isaiah the 14th chapter. So I can follow that with Zechariah too, right? What you got there? Go ahead. It's trying to get the women home um, in Matthew and yeah. um, reap the, um, the weeds with the, um, can't think about it right now. Separate the wheat from yeah, the tail? Yeah, wheat from the tail. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. the, like, the main objective that you're saying here is that eventually yeah. in the last days that Jesus is coming back and in those days you guys would be owners of us and in order for us to pass into heaven we have to serve you guys. Yeah. Watch this. Yeah, that is. That's a beautiful precept. Revelations 13 and 9. That's powerful right there. Hey, sisters, come hear the word of the Lord. Right? So watch this. This is Revelations 13 and 9, right? So, because we serve y'all, right? You know that? Watch this. Book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 9. Uh -huh. If any man have an ear, let him hear. So, y'all ain't men, but y'all are women. Y'all got ears, right? So this means if you got ears to understand. So, Get understanding when you hear this. Go ahead. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Who led the children of Israel into captivity? You had the Egyptians under Pharaoh, right? All those nations are destroyed. Are the Egyptians in Egypt right now, the true Egyptians? They were destroyed. See that? So just like they were destroyed, the God has to destroy the other nations that destroyed the children of Israel. So read that again. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Uh huh. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. So this has to happen. Go ahead. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. We're the saints, and that's why we're patiently coming out here to read the gospel in the last days. You see that? What's so, the gospel to you? What you said? What is the gospel to us? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, just getting ready to go. Right. You want to hear Christ like, first? Like if I came up and said I didn't know Jesus at all, how would you explain? So this is the deal right here, right? In order, you, you ask, that's two different questions, right? right? So this is how we understand the gospel, because what would you say the gospel is? Jesus Christ came down, uh, his Father God, uh -huh. to save us. To save us. Once he resurrected, gave us the Holy Spirit for him to live with us on earth. That's right. So that we may be able to descend into heaven and live in heaven eternal life. Now we're going to Luke 4, just to confirm what the gospel is, right? okay? Luke 4, it says, and he came to Nazareth, talking about Christ, where he had been brought up, and, and and as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day, stood up for to read, and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. Uh -huh. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. Listen clearly. The spirit of the Lord is upon me uh -huh. because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel. To preach the what? The gospel uh -huh. to the poor. To the who? To the poor. To the poor. Well, go ahead. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted. To heal the brokenhearted, right? 
Now go to the precept. No, no, no we'll go ahead. Keep going. Keep yeah, going. Sorry, yeah. To preach deliverance to the captives. To the who? To the captives. To the captives, right? We just read. We're, we're the ones who are captives. You see that? Go ahead. And recovering of sight to the blind. And we're blind because our image and our and our uh, our kingdom was taken from us. Our homeland was taken from us. But couldn't so, that also be turned around to us? Like there to? are you know, poor people of all nations here. Right, but you know why you, you know why the uh your people are poor? Why? Because you, you have you unfortunately you have you have uh a people ruling over you who are unruly people. Mm -hmm. So they don't even care about your own people. Right. If we were ruling, we would care about the poor of our own people. Right. We would we have we have laws to look out for the poor right. and to look out for those of our own people that are in need of things. Right. So I have, if I have two bags I'm gonna make sure my brother got a bag. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's our job. Yeah. What are you doing? What, what you trying to do? All right, but well, go ahead and get the Isaiah right. precept. So now he's reading from Isaiah, right? Okay, let's go to Isaiah now and let's find out what he was reading. It's Isaiah 61, and we'll start from the top. It says, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. That sound about right? Okay, he has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord uh -huh. and the day of vengeance. Uh, excuse me. See, those are cursed people right there. That's who needs to be saved. You want to hear the Bible too? We read in the Bible. Go ahead. It says the acceptable year of the Lord and uh -huh. the day of vengeance. And the what? And the day of vengeance. And the day of vengeance, right? Of because that's what we was just reading in, in uh, Revelations 13 and 9. What scripture you got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn. And where? Look, listen at this. To comfort all that mourn. Would you say that that's talking about everybody? It says to comfort those that mourn, right? So is that for everybody? Is everybody mourning? You said you mourn before, right? So you would think that's for everybody, right? Now watch what it says. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. And everywhere. In Zion. In Zion. Everybody is not of Zion. You see that? Zion is a direct descendant of Israel. It only pertains to Israel. That's the holy mount of the Lord, right? Go ahead to give unto them unto them right beauty for ashes uh-huh the oil of joy for mourning uh-huh the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness go ahead that they might be called trees of righteousness uh-huh the planting of the lord that he might be glorified you see that so we're plant we're we're the we're the, we're the plants of righteousness because we're coming out giving seed to the earth right now right so you can receive of this testimony but only to serve Israelites, right? You're not going to be um, in the kingdom, God. huh? And not God. Well, listen, you, the, um, the other nations are only going to come into the temple once a month. You understand? To stand before the Lord and to bring in all of those things that you'll have on that day. That's it. Yeah, yeah, we read that. Wait, we go to Isaiah again. 60. Isaiah so 60. Serve, serve the Israelites yep. instead of God? Yeah, you, so you're going to serve the Israelites, right? You're not going to serve Jesus Christ. You're going to serve the Israelites. The Israelites are going to bring you to Jesus Christ once a month. That's it. That's the only time that y'all are going to see Jesus Christ. His glory is not going to be upon y'all. But get the brother's precept. You got what you got? I got the gates. Oh, yeah, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go with that one. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 12. Right. And had a wall great and high, uh -huh. and had twelve gates. Had twelve gates, right? Whose and names are written on those twelve gates? The tribes of Israel. The tribes of Israel. Why doesn't have all of the other people of the earth? Why? Why? Why isn't um, the Edomites on here? They were enemies. They were who? They, they were enemies of Israel. They were enemies of Israelites. You see that? I'm saying. So that's that's you have biblical knowledge. So y'all come from Esau. That's your father, unfortunately, right? right. When you look at um, so like some of the enemies that like that fought the Israelites uh -huh. in those days, like some of them were like saved Ooh. by the Israelites. Ooh. They're like random servants that you know kept them from you know 
getting sought after by the leaders. And so you, you got a lot of knowledge, right? When Saul was given the commandment to go and destroy all those heathen nations, did, did God say to, to leave one? No. What did he say? It's kill everything. Everything, yeah. right? The cattle, everything. Yeah. So you got knowledge. Yeah. So why would he want anything different now? No, what I'm saying there's like one specific family that like was like, I will keep you safe here. They hid them in the house. You talking about Rahab. Rahab the Holic? Yes. Okay, so you're saying Rahab the Holic is going to be saved? She was saved. She was saved to do what? To travel with them. As a servant? Yes. She was a slave. But then she was considered inside of the Israelite family. She, she was in No, no. She was, she, was, she was only given. She was a, She would have been proselytized. That's it. She Meaning was she was only like, given. She was only given the knowledge on how to serve Israelites. But there were like verses that said like give these benefits also to your servants. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, you get benefits because why? After a certain period, after a certain year, then we can cleanse you people. But that's the only way. You got to go through a certain period of cleansing in order to even come near the temple. Right. You see so that? Right. And also, what nation was she? She was of Moab. Yeah. She wasn't of the Edomites. Right. She wasn't of the Girgashites. She right. Was right. No, she was a Moabite. Yeah. So. Or Amorite. Or Amorite. Right. Right. Because you know the Amorites can't come in, right? You see that? So they're forever cursed under the heavens. So how, so how is, you know, all nations can't be in the kingdom, right? And does God change? No. Right? So if he was the same then, he would be the hey, same Hey, can you give now? me that precept that the, uh, the Gentiles are going to be without the kingdom, uh, without the gate? What is I that? It, I got it. I got it right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. It's uh, Isaiah 60 and 10. Uh -huh. This is for Revelations the other, 11. This is for the, uh, the strangers. It says, and the sons or daughters uh -huh. of the strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. Uh -huh. For in my wrath I smote thee, uh -huh. but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Uh -huh. Therefore thy gates shall be opened continually, about the gates of heaven. Yep. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles. Of the Gentiles. So everything that the Gentiles own are going to be coming into the temple of God. So everything that, that was stolen is going to come back to the temple of God. Right? Go ahead with your precept. Uh, this Revelation chapter 11 verse 1. Uh -huh. It says, And there was given me a reed like unto a rod. So he's measuring the kingdom of God right here. Go ahead. And the angel stood saying, uh -huh. Rise and measure the temple of God. You see, you hear that? He said, Rise, measure the temple of God. Right? Go ahead. And the altar, uh -huh. and them that worship therein. Right, so this is this talking about the people that worshiping therein, right? So they're inside the temple already. Go ahead. Verse two. Uh huh. But the court which is without the temple. So now it's talking about the court that is without the temple, right? Go ahead. Leave out. It says leave out, right? Because what? And measure it not. So he said, don't measure this right here, this portion, right? Because these people are not going to be worshiping in the temple. So he said, measure it not. Go ahead. For it is given unto the Gentiles. It's given to the Gentiles. So that's where y'all going to be. You're not going to be in the temple of the Most High. You're going to be on the outside of the courts. Right? So that's how we're going to gather y'all up once a month to bring y'all in to see the glory that was given to us. And that's it. I appreciate this. You see that? Yeah. So um, let me get Zechariah 7 and 22. You were on the way to find a restaurant. We got up too. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. She probably don't got to use the bathroom now. She don't, the, the spirit, the spirit jumped on her. You know where we could find a restroom? Uh, you know what? I just went right across the street over there. Bus station. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right in that bus terminal. When you go right, if you go straight through there, just make a right. Okay. Down the ramp. You'll see it on the right. Okay. Uh, Seven twenty-two, I think. Uh, hey, what's that? They should grab the skirt on your message. Is it fourteen? Seventeen. 722? Yeah, no, 8, 82. Yeah, 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 that's it. Yep, yep. Book of Zechariah, chapter 8, verse 23. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, uh -huh. in those days it shall come to pass that ten men shall take hold out of all the languages of the nations. See, that's why we got to take hold of all the languages. We got brothers that speak Spanish and all types of languages, right? Just like our people, so we can do what? Even shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew. So this will be you taking the hold of him that's a Jew right here, right? Go ahead. Saying, uh -huh. we will go with you. You're going to want to come with us on that day, right? Why? 
for we have heard that God is with you. God is not with everybody, see that? So just like we're breaking this Bible down, right? So that you can get the sense of it, so you can understand finally, right? You're gonna come with us faithfully on that day. We're not going to have to hunt you down, right? You're gonna be willingly, most of your people, right? We will hunt you down though, but most of your people are gonna come willingly, right? Go ahead. Come on, verse, we're gonna start at nine. Uh, chapter 9 yeah yeah no 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 what you got it's uh, Isaiah chapter 2 verse 2 uh -huh. and it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains uh -huh. and shall be exalted above the hills what? and all nations and what and all nations uh -huh. shall flow into it so all you nations are gonna flow unto the mountain of the Lord on that day right that's how you're gonna receive the true knowledge of what you've been lied about, right? Go ahead. And many people shall go and say, uh -huh. Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. Go ahead. To the house of the God of Jacob. Uh huh. And now he, he said, To the house of the God of who? Of Jacob. Uh huh. And he will teach us of his ways. You see that? That's how you're going to be taught of his ways through the house of Jacob. So y'all have never read this book. You don't have the whole testimony of this book. You know why? Because your people took certain books out. Your people did that. You see that? So we have to open up all of the records to give you the truth. Like he went into second Ezra to show you that all people are not of the most high, right? That all nations, see this, this is a hidden book. This is what the Protestants took out. You see that? That's your people, right? Go ahead. And we will walk in his path. Uh-huh. For out of Zion shall go forth the law. So out of Zion shall go forth the law. That's us. That's why we come out here to tell the law to our people in the last days to return back to Christ. Right? Go ahead. And the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Uh huh. And he shall judge among the nations. Go ahead. And shall rebuke many people. And that's why we come out here to rebuke many people, to correct many people, because you don't know the truth. You 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 could you probably um. Like, you know, for the first time could admit that Jesus Christ is a black man. You I see that? That's not the first time? <laughs> My dad has told us that yeah. so Your dad has told you that? Hey, well, that's good. You see that? So your dad was telling you that you're going to serve black people in the last days. That's really what he was saying. His spirit was bad witness with that. Go ahead. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares uh -huh. and their spears into pruning hoods. Go ahead. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation. So this is a true prophecy to understand that those people in Israel today are not the biblical Jews, right? Because if they was in the land of Israel right now, there would be no war happening right now. You see that? So this is what this prophecy is saying right here. Go ahead. Neither shall they learn war anymore. It says neither shall they learn war anymore. So on that day, right, when the true Israel is in the mountain of the Lord, there'll be no more war. So that's how you know those are devils that are occupying the land that's not theirs right now. You see that? Go ahead. Book of Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. Go ahead. Red letter. I know thy works uh -huh. and tribulation Go ahead. and poverty. Would you consider them impoverished? In poverty? The Jewish people. The, the, the people in Israel right now, would you say they're impoverished? Would, you, why? They're under terrorism. Do you know, like they, rule, do you, do you know they own all of the banking systems throughout the earth? I don't know. You didn't know that? They own they own your uh, your media. They own your movies. They own your rap industries. Basketball, basketball teams. Basketball teams. People that are under their authority and they don't have Mark Zuckerberg. people that are being attacked. You, you listen to that? Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> right? Is he, a wealthy, is he a wealthy man? Oh, yeah. He's not poor. No. He can feed all you people, right? right. You see that? Go ahead. All the Go lawyers. All the all lawyers, lawyers the right? People. They're all yeah. Jewish people. Yeah. The Freedmen's, the... What, what else? The, uh, the, Rothstein, the Goldman, the, the, the Rhodes, yeah. the Rockefellers. The Rockefellers. <laughs> so we'll start from the top. Yeah. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. Go ahead, go on to but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy, the dirty lie, of them which say they are Jews and are not. What are they? The synagogue of Satan. That's what they are. If we go to 3.9, as a matter of fact, it says the same thing, but it says it in a different kind of way. It says, Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, 
I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, right? And to know that I have loved thee, talking about the Israelites. Hey, it's all good. But so the point that the captain was trying to make to you is the fact that if you're not of the children of Israel, you're going to be dealt with. Right? And he didn't bring out Obadiah for you, did he? To know what happens to the Edomites? <laughs> I would love to bring it out if you, if you got a, a couple a couple minutes. Did you have the right to use the restroom? Okay, let me read it real quick. Let me read it real quick. Because you're not going to hear this in church. Right? Obadiah is one chapter. Right? We're going to go to Obadiah 18. It says... But upon, uh, let's start at 17. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. Not everybody. Mount Zion, which is Israel. And there and there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Talking about everybody else. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. And the house of Joseph a flame. And the house of Esau. The house of Esau for stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. What did that just say to you? It just said that the house of Esau is going to be finished. So you guys got a lot of things to look forward to. Especially the world is waxing worse and worse. That's just telling you that prophecy is coming to pass faster than you know it. Right? A lot of our people are waking up, and the more of our people that wake up, you want to do some merciful stuff? You tell a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American that he's an Israelite and that he is God's chosen people. And maybe the Lord will have mercy on him. Right. Y'all still young. Y'all got time. Look, saying to all. I appreciate y'all. It was nice talking to you. Thank you. Amen.